because I do believe in the importance of the EU. And, and I say that unashamedly. I know lots of people criticise it. Lots of people look at the situation with refugees and others. They look at the Catalan situation and say the EU has let people down. But actually, we've had 50 years of peace and prosperity on the continent of Europe. And that cannot be thrown away. I always refer to the experience of my own family. And I heard, um, I heard Martin Schulz, the, the former president of the European Parliament, do that at an event in Berlin, and it struck a very strong chord. Uh, because those people who you know, have family who were involved in First and Second World Wars know the personal costs that existed. And they also know that something remarkable happened at the end of the Second World War that the victor nations reached out their hand to the vanquished nation and said, never again. We cannot do this again. We shouldn't do this again. And as a result of that gesture, something quite unique was built. And it has been, it had its faults, but it has produced peace and prosperity. When my father was just 18, he volunteered for the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. And he was on the beach in Dunkirk and he had a bullet through his knee. And he had that wound for the rest of his life. That never happened to me when I was 19, and it never happened to my son when he was 19. And if we, all of us bear that in mind, this is not about straight bananas. This is not about some mythical fear that jobs are being taken because they aren't. This is about the type of society we envisage. And whether with all the difficulties we can work with other people as equals, because that's what makes us so different from the UK as it is now. If we can work with people as equals, then we can forge a better future for ourselves. But we have to decide to do it. And on this occasion, we have to resist the voices of those who say we shouldn't do it, particularly as they have no alternative.